everybody, this is your host Leavok, and we're doing another Let's Play! Yay! Finally, after being two weeks without a Let's Play! Woo! Um, of course, we're, play we're Let's Playing uh, Metroid Fusion. Um, just gonna go ahead and start in here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna read the dialogue here right now, because I, uh, just kind of have some stuff to say. Um, I'll probably pick up on the dialogue once I'm done, uh, um, Try, I'll try to keep this so we have enough time to read it anyway. I'm um, not sure that last one had enough time, but, uh, but yeah. Um, so, yeah. Basically, what happened? Well, I upgraded my computer, or, got, or put it in a new case, got, got a cooling system, a friend pretty much gave it to me, and what happens? Well, my motherboard decided to say, nope, not gonna have it, and dies. I believe I talked about that in my, uh, Minecraft. I don't know, I guess you can call it Let's Play Update Videos or whatever. Um, and so yeah, I got the new motherboard. Um, had to get new RAM for it because it required DDR3 RAM. And then I had the game, the stuff hooked up and everything working. I got, I even got a new mother, a new uh, hard drive because my other one broke while I was trying to install it. And my same friend who gave me pretty much all the, the stuff I have now on my computer. It's kind enough to give me, uh, kind enough to give me the a two terabyte hard drive. Well, play, uh, used that for a week. Was still kind of trying to figure out what, what I was gonna let's play. Did my little Minecraft update video, and what happens? Those <laughs> Windows starts going buggy on me. I think it might be the, I think it might be the operating software because I was using Windows 7 at the time. Um. Well, as it turns out, it was a, ter it was a two terabyte hard drive. I tried to reinstall Windows on it. Um, this time I got XP on, on here because it's just easier for us to get a hold of than 7. Um, basically, long story short, my dad can get a copy of it to, to uh, the school he works at. And with 7, they don't they make you go through these bizarre channels to get it. Um, and my dad's technologically impaired. Um, but yeah. So basically, I put I put XP on. I tried to put it on the hard drive, and it says that well, first of all, if you know anything about putting an operating system on a hard drive, you need to either format the hard drive or delete the uh, current contents on it. I did. I tried both. It wouldn't let me do it both times. In fact, when I tried to delete the hard drive's data, it said it couldn't be deleted, and then took it off the list of the available hard drive to put it on. Put Windows on. Um, so I had to put it on my 40 gig, which I've had for oh lord knows how long. Um, and so yeah, that worked perfectly. Works fine. I only have like 40 gigs in, in this computer instead of two terabytes, but that's fine. I can. I'd rather work with that than nothing at all, you know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much uh, in a nutshell all the crap that happened over the past two weeks. And, of course, my computer was not going to go down easily, or go up easily. Um, yeah, well, how are we going to put it? It was not going to, be, it was not going to take the being rebuilt easily, so we had a, had a few couple issues, and, of course, I happen to have friends that are very, they're very good when they, they're very reliable when you can get a hold of them. Um, I left that one long enough. Oh well. They're very, they're very good when you get, when you can get a hold of them, but they're really hard to get a hold of. So, yeah. Really, really, really sucks. <laughs> um. But yeah. Also, between that, um, I've been playing Spore whenever I could. Um, fortunately, my dad's computer is about is almost as good as my computer, so the, only, the primary difference, aside from the fact that I got a new, uh, I got a quad-core processor now, the only the only real difference between that between his computer is the graphics card, which is only slightly older than mine. Um, so yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, but, yeah, I guess I've been playing Spore and kind of been addicted to that. 
didn't think I was going to be as addicted to it as I thought I'd be. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> anyway, let's get on to the story, shall we? We'll, we'll soon be arriving at the BSL research station. Let's prepare for docking. The ship's computer has notified me of our approach to the Biological Space Labs, or BSL, research station. During my surgery, the research team sends the last batch of creatures we captured there, as well as the infected pieces of my power suit. After gaining consciousness, I learned that an unexplained explosion rocked the station for some reason. This awoke a nameless fear in my heart. Now I'm being sent there to investigate. I really think they could have touched up that dialogue just a little bit, just tweaked a little here and there. My mission on the BSL station will be overseen by my new ship's computer. Following the commands of this blunt computerized CO is something I have to bear, as it was a condition for my taking the ship. For someone who just likes taking orders, this is the second time I've found myself having to do so. Really? It seems like you thought of taking orders another M. Oh wait, we're not supposed to mention that game. <clears throat> it doesn't happen. It makes me recall my other CO. Yeah, I don't, know, I don't know about you guys, but I was not at all impressed with the other M. Um, the acting on both sides, well, well it's better than the Japanese version because of the, the context of the, ja of, J of, uh, the Japanese, how, J how Japan does things. Um, i trying to think, localization, I think is the, is the correct term. But, uh, still, it doesn't, it doesn't excuse the game for being really, really bad. There's been an explosion in the court, in the quarantine bay. Uh, by the way, if you want to speed up the dialogue, these dialogue portions here, you can just press and hold A, uh, right here, like this. Just kind of speeds it up, let go, press A again, just let you skip, just let you go to the next dialogue. The bay currently stores capsules containing recent samples from the SR388, as well as parts of your suit infected by the X-Parasite. The cause of the explosion is as yet unclear. Investigate. The quarantine bay is here. Move quickly and quietly. You are still unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. I really, whenever I hear, this, whenever I see this, I kind of picture uh, Gilliam, Gilliam's voice from Outlaw Star. You know the ship's computer. That's why. That's why I hear this. Make sure of that and uh, how uh, the how nine thousand. Stop at the navigation room on the way. Uplink from there. Is your objective clear? Yes. Now go to the quarantine bay. Because I mentioned the HAL 9000, I gotta mention this, this clever little dialogue. I can't let you do that, Dave. <laughs> yeah. I know, clever, right? No, like, no one's ever done that before. Okay, so, base controls. Um, metric games have always been li a little complex with the controls, but not really too much. Um, you press the A, to, a button to jump, and as you can see, whenever you jump, whenever you jump normally, you just jump. Maybe point in a direction, um, let me go, yeah, pu pushing up doesn't do anything, pushing down lets you jump and aim down, uh, but pushing left and right lets you do a little spin jump. Um, but as you can tell, pushing up on the controls pad, or up left, or up right, um, and I know I got, I just got, I got that backwards, lets you, uh, aim the gun while moving, pressing the R button, and then, no? Oh, press, excuse me. Pressing the L button, excuse me, R button is something else. The L button automatically aims you diagonally in whatever direction you're facing. Um, left and right, you can change the direction. You can push down to kind of change it to downward angle. Uh, B fires. And, yeah, just to kind of show you can do that. Um, down puts you in a crouch position. Um, that you kind of hit small, that you hit lower targets or smaller targets. Um, but other than that, there's not much else uh, to the controls right now. We'll be getting into the controls as we get more into it. Um, the main thing about Metroid, about Metroid Fusion is that you're going, you always go to navigation room whenever you can. Um, oh, by the way, start accesses your uh, map. Uh, select doesn't do anything. R and then the start menu lets you see your status, see your suit, all your upgrades you got, you you gotten so far. And I'll put you in the sleep mode. Um, I don't know what this will do if you're playing on an emulator like I am, but if you're playing on a Game Boy Advance, um, just put you into sleep mode. It turns off the Game Boy. Um, let me see. And so you, yeah, until you press select L and R, it basically puts it in kind of like a temporary save state. 
Um, not save state, uh, quick save. Um, the one use quick save that kind of conserves on the battery of your system a little easier. A lot of, a lot of Game Boy Advance games had that. A lot of Nintendo's did. The quarantine bay is ahead. Bio signs are confirmed. Be careful. <sighs> yeah. Right here, you see that this door we can't go into, we can't shoot this door open like you do in most metric games, because it's a, it's a special door, you can't open it up. Doors like these, unless they're flashing, um, you can't open them. Uh, right there, you got the lock levels of your doors. Um, as you, as you pre progress the game, you'll, you'll access uh, new lock levels, um, and you'll see that little lock symbol, the little colored symbol, kind of open up. And... Uh, It'll make things. It'll make things. Uh, it'll make. It'll open, open up more of the world for you. So you don't. And you don't. I don't think you have to use your missiles to open up like red doors, for example. Um, you did. You did in. Uh, you do in all the other Metroid games. All right, you have next parasite. Yay! Boom! Um, whenever you kill an enemy, it'll release an X parasite, which you can pick up for health, ammunition, or whatever. Um, I think health and ammo are the two big ones. Sometimes ability. Um, Actually, most of the time abilities for the for the more po more powerful enemies. Anyway, um, so after we do that, we go back to the navigation center, navigation room. If you don't know where to go, just always go back to the navigation room. It'll tell you where to go. This is unfortunate news. The specimen brought back by the fire team were infected by X parasites. The X can mimic its prey. Any specimen could have hosted. It. Before the explosion, a security sensor scanned one of the gelatinous X parasites invade and rapidly reproduce, killing the host creature. I like how that, how that picture is, almost looks kind of like a 3D model. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic its host. You're almost killed by next infection. Gee, thanks. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems Metroids are the main predators of the X. That's why the vaccine works so quickly and so well. But it has also changed your cellular makeup. You'll never be infected by X again. That makes it sound like he's depressed. In fact, you can now absorb any free-floating X-Parasite without a host by merely touching them. So allow you to replenish health and restore weapons. I already explained that, and we also restore the ability this way, so pursue free X-Parasites in every possible game. Mm -hmm. The station is home to many species and some violent ones. You must keep the X out of the breeding environments at all costs. This is vital. I am already detecting massive bio signs in this region. The X-Parasite are gathered. This may be our chance to exterminate them, if you are only at Timson Bower Capacity. Chance of survival is extremely low. The Federation needs you alive in one duty, Samus. Is your objective clear? Yes. Now get going. I released the locks on level zero hatches. Look for the blinking hatches. And okay, we can't go through that door. Let's turn this down a little bit more. Um Let me see here. I'll, there we go. Right there you see the level zero hatch. It doesn't have any real color to it. Um Right here you saw, you maybe notice it's a level 2 hatch, you can't open it, but these hatches are, can be open, you can't walk into them, the open doors, you just shoot them, you know, because every game, it doesn't make sense if you have to shoot, if you don't shoot them, um, whenever you see an enemy, you always kill it, and it'll usually drop some health, uh, right here's a save station, you always want to save as frequently as, po as frequent as possible, though I know many people that do speedruns of this game, um, or of any metric game, they usually avoid all saves altogether. Uh, I don't think there's anything down this way. Nope. Oh, look, there's a zombie, though. Kill the zombie. Oh, it's an X parasite. Yeah. Even the science has got turned into uh, X parasites. That's kind of a little creepy. Um, right here is a blockade. In order for us to uh, progress further in the game, um, with these guys, we need to get certain weapons. And usually it relates to the color of the. Of those little tendril things. Um, right here's another navigation room. I have received news from HQ. They can support you with downloadable weapon data. Once you have this data, you'll be able to use missiles. This will help against some enemies your beam can't hurt. Head to the data room for the download. Uh, the data room is displayed by the D on your on your map. The data room is here. Yeah. Is your objective clear? Yes. With missiles, a chance of survival climbs to 20%. Yeah. Kind of sounds a lot, a lot like Fee from, uh, Twilight, Prin uh, Twilight Princess. Wow. From, uh, Skyward Sword. There you go. Ouch. Just... I don't want to head this... I don't want to head this way yet. And right there...
right there, you kind of see the gelatinous uh, from button. Gotta get used to that. Kind of see the gelatinous form stuff down there. Uh, that means you can be infected if there's more X parasites in the room. You don't clear them out. So always try to collect the paras X parasites. Right here, we have an elevator. Push up or down if it's getting if it's a downward elevator to uh, use it. And usually, the first time going through a new elevator, Samus will have something to say. You're reminded of the Rough Federation CEO I served under the name Adam Malkovich. He called me Lady Omission. For anyone else, it was a sound sarcastic, but Adam made it sound dignified. Out of respect for some irony, I, rena I named the computer after him. <laughs> so, yeah. You can really tell that she kind of had a. She kind of respected Adam in this. And other M, I don't think it. I. I I never played much of the other M. Um, right here is the recharge station. Just step on here and it recharges all your ammo. Um, primarily your missiles, super missiles, and so on and so forth. Uh, you save room. Actually, I'm not going to use the save room yet. I'm going to go ahead and get the get the stuff we need to get first and then save. I'll probably end the episode off at that point. Um, so, yeah. Right here is the navigation room. Uh, by the way, any, any of these doors that don't completely seal off, this stuff is... The room is just ahead. Yeah. This is optional. If you see if you see a door, if you see the open door here, you can just skip the di dialogues. If you already know where to go, uh, you, yeah. Right here is the data room. This will upgrade our abilities. Uh, right here we get missiles. Hold R and press B to fire. You get the familiar Metroid jingle. Right there you see our gun changes a little bit. Um, you can also hold L in conjunction and still use that and still use the abilities. And then you just press B to fire. I'm not gonna fire yet because we'll get a we'll get we'll get a chance to show it off. Okay. I go through, gotta go through this part. Electrical interference has knocked out the elevators on the main deck. This may be related to the X. I'll work on it. As for you, try to find another way to the target. It's located here. I'm reading huge bio signs, so I hope your missiles work. If you load missiles, you can use a recharge room or absorb a special type of X parasite. You'll see them. Try them. Your objective clear? Yes. This is our only hope. Don't hesitate to use them. Now, find a way to the target. Oh, it's not my only hope. I mean, there is uh, the grapple beam, the the screw attack, the... Oh, what else is there? <laughs> Long beam whenever we get it, because this is one of those games... This is one of the games... Actually, does... This one gives us a long... Yeah, it gives us a long beam from the beginning. It's the original Metroid that doesn't... Uh, is this where we need to head? Yeah. Oh, actually, no, I was going to say, wasn't I? Um, yeah, th thanks for reminding me. Okay, so go, go ahead and show it. Missiles press B, and they do they do more heavy damage. They also have some range damage. Um, I'll go ahead and recharge here real quick. And, uh, yeah. I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode off here for now. So in the next episode, we'll be, we'll be uh, heading to the next objective and kind of trying to figure out the source of the electrical damage. Until then... I'll see you guys later.